The story begins way back in 1967 in Middlesbrough, where Alison's mother, Cindy, worked as a bus conductress. It was there that she met Stuart, a welder from Glasgow who was working in the area. As with any northern town, Saturday nights were spent out and about on the scene. Cindy Hall and her friends spotted Stuart Hunter and his mates in the local pub and they hit it off. It was in the mid-60s. We were building oil rigs. And the money was good. So there were good times. And one night in the pub, this girl became friends with me. And one thing led to another and we had a good time. Cindy was above average in looks, well above average. The lads were all envious of me because she was the pick of the bunch in the whole town. She was flamboyant, she was fun, she was always smiling, she was everything. I had no intentions of staying in Middlesbrough. And the girls knew that we would move on, and we did. So it was casual, but we were very friendly. Cindy also told Stuart that she couldn't have any children, though you can understand his surprise when she later told him that she was pregnant. She told me that she couldn't and she was amazed, but she could, and did. In 1967, Cindy had a baby girl she called Alison and believed that Stuart was the father. But Stuart and Cindy's relationship was a casual one, and to this day, he suspects Cindy was going out on the town and meeting other men. So he's not convinced that he is Alison's birth father. There was definitely other boys, no doubt what they were doing with her, I don't know. Stuart had a very lucrative offer of employment in Canada and took the opportunity to further his career overseas. Meanwhile, Cindy remained in Middlesbrough bringing up baby Alison. Although she was convinced that Stuart Hunter was Alison's father, she didn't put his name on the birth certificate. Cindy said it was me. I suppose I believed that. And it never occurred to me that it may have been somebody else. Four years after Alison was born, Cindy decided to get back in contact with Stuart. So she sent a letter with baby photographs of Alison to Mrs Hunter in Scotland. My mother got a letter from Cindy with photographs of Alison, which my mother forwarded to me in Canada with no comments. And I was curious. When Stuart saw the photos, he decided to give Cindy the benefit of the doubt and travelled back to Britain to see Alison. It was Christmas Eve 1971 when Stuart turned up out of the blue on Cindy's doorstep to meet Alison for the first time. Cindy was delighted to have him back and woke her daughter up to introduce her to Stuart. She woke her up and said, who's that? And Alison said, that's my dad. And ever since then, I've said to Alison, why did you say that? And she keeps saying, you were the only person that I knew who could be my dad from pictures. And why else were they waking me up to tell me? But he still had his reservations. If he was the father, then why hadn't Cindy put his name on Alison's birth certificate? 